the real truth about Toronto condo rentals. How much they got, how to get tenants, and how to get the good condos. Those are good for rentals. Okay, friends, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Realtor and Mortgage Broker. I work in Toronto Real Estate downtown for a lot of time now. Mostly condos, some houses, commercial properties, even land and helping with developers. But today I want to talk, if you're a renter, I want to talk to you, a renter, how to get the good condo. If you're an owner, an investor, I want to talk to you how to get the best tenant, how to get the best unit that for you. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so this is Yossi Kaplan. Twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan, where you find all the quick updates. Uh, I just retweeted a bunch of these here. So you can get some assignments here that, you know, assignments, it's hard to advertise. So Twitter is a great way. 719 for 330 Richmond, two bed, two bath. That's 769 a foot. That's a good deal if it's still available. When you're watching this video, let me know and I'll tell you. Okay, 330 Richmond, a small year for 565. This is unheard of. There's no one bedrooms out of 500 left. Okay. Uh, here's a penthouse at the art con at the uh, art shop condos for uh, 1250, 1.25 million, 450,000. Okay, Nobu condos 1.2, 1.199900, two bed, two bath, corner suite, very nice, and so on and so forth. Go on to Twitter, follow me here, and you can see all the good stuff. I, I, I post a lot of stuff here because it's easy for my phone just to hit it, and of course my YouTube channel, YouTube.com/slash EOC Kaplan. And uh, here you see Toronto's three best condo investor projects, which you should view because they're very important. Yesterday I reviewed 12 Toronto condo investments. The day before I reviewed some good deals, assignments. Galleria Mall is opening up. Uh, more assignments coming. There's a lot of stuff happening. This is this is uh, fall, you know, uh, well, technically summer, but you can feel the fall already. So that's where we are at, okay? YossiKaplan.com, Toronto Real Estate Investing. How to buy the right condo for the tenant that uh, will stay there for the longest possible. We really like it and we'll pay the top dollar for it. And for a tenant, how to get the right condo that will cost you the least and satisfy you the most. So you can see from the tenant perspective, we want to pay the least, get the best we can. From the investor perspective, <coughs> we're going to get the best unit, the best return, and the best rent, but also the best tenant. So let's talk about these things. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to yossi.searchrealty.co. If I go to the main, uh, if I go to the main page here, yossi.searchrealty.co, which is my search interface to Search Realty. There's other sites you can do it, but this is an easy one to uh, showcase. Let me check everything's working here. Yeah. Okay. And here, so we're going to bug on the area. We're going to, we're going to stay in the downtown today. So Toronto, Toronto C1, C01. That's a downtown. West, so it'll auto complete for me. Toronto C1, and I hit the search button here. Okay, so that's going to give me the area of C1, which is uh, at the bottom uh, from the waterfront to Bloor and from Young uh, to Dufferin. So that, that's quite the area, it's a, a large area and lots of lots. That's most of the action in Toronto C1 just because of the sheer number of properties here. There are more properties, more condos here than anywhere else in the city. Okay, that the density is the highest here because we have all these, you know, dozens and dozens of buildings with 500 units each, 600 units each. So you get thousands and thousands of people living here. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how many, but my guess will be two to three hundred thousand people probably live here and probably like over a million work here every day coming to town. Okay, so once we're in this interface here, let's say if we wanna we wanna um, zoom in some more, I can put King West. And see what happens now when I hit King West um, I'm gonna zoom in on the keyword King West he doesn't really understand the neighborhood like we do but he does understand the keyword King West and it's gonna bring everything up moreover now I want to filter to look at the at the uh, rental so scroll down here it says rental just hit that or you can limit the price and it'll put everything that was checked as rental so now we're looking at Toronto C1 King West Renter. You can play around with the system and see what you get, but here it is. I'm going to close that. That's going to stay, and now I'm going to sort by latest listings, I mean, which is the last listing to be uploaded to the system we can see here. So, okay, that's good. 2100 a month at Oxley, 2350 at Stafford, 449, so 4500 at uh, Niagara, 3290 at Morrison, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now we're the King West. I can also hit this button here and basically go to the prices. So, 
that's one thing to do and that's where I start and the reason I do this is because what I want to see as an investor or as a renter I want to see what's available in the market the moment I know what's available in the market uh, I can start understand if I'm a renter uh, what do I want to rent and how much is going to cost me at the various buildings kind of get an idea and if I'm if I'm an owner if I want to lease the unit out if I'm a, an investor owner of a unit or a property manager working for an owner then I can do that okay so the latest listings shows me who uploaded recently and what is it for so it gives you a very good understanding of the market and you can see here there's a lot of 3,000, 3,000, 2,000, 2,000, 4, there's really nothing on the 2 here um, so I want to see another thing I want to see is I want to see the price high to low which means start with the highest price possible so within this search parameters they may be higher but I contain the search parameters you get 6,000 a month uh, here for 23 Niagara 5,500 for uh, Thompson 4850 for another Thompson okay and then we go down from there I know there's other units that are more expensive but maybe they're just not using the word King West if I remove the word King West and just look at the map okay now I get 36,000 a month 22 well that's a commercial I didn't really filter those out but what I can do is zoom in you following me here guys I'm gonna zoom in to the area uh, fashion district King West right here so King West considered west of Spadina. There's obviously there's an 18,000 here just east of Spadina. Oh, that that's a commercial building. Uh, that's a condo. That's a condo. But you know it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, here's a 9,000. Let's see what that is. That's 10,000. So that's a penthouse at Dan Lackey. Uh, 550 Queens by the water. Here's a 12,000 on the Western Battery. Uh, zero beds. Zero beds. Okay, so that's probably a commercial space. So I'll put a filter here and I'll go one bath. Okay, now I'm going to leave one bath to kind of cut a commercials that have no bath or it's a parking spot or whatever. But I'm going to leave zero beds just to leave the possibility of studios uh, to come into the system. And then I can uh, filter again and make sure uh, if I go here, okay, right now I haven't checked any of these property types except for rental. That's why I show me. I'm just going to leave it like that for now and just play with it, okay? So, um, Here's what I want to show you. So I'm looking here. So let's say I'm, I'm focusing on an area, fashion district here. So now I got uh, a penthouse at, uh, let me see. This is a penthouse at the Thompson. Okay. So nice presentation. Now this is an interesting unit. So check it out. It's a one bedroom, two bath, about 1,100 square feet, asking 5,500 a month for this unit. Okay. So that's about five dollar a foot for this rental okay one bedroom so who's gonna rent something for 5500 a month and if you know as a renter do I want to do this and as an owner do I want to buy something that will rent for 5500 a month if it rents so first of all yes they do rent okay and the second is you got to understand there's there's really two types of renters here and that's that's the main uh, point of the story today so I'm gonna bring it right at the front I'm gonna tell you the story and then if you're in a rush just get out of this video but if you want more details just continue because I have a few more points here there's two types of renters that you need to either understand you're part of the one or two uh, renter groups uh, if you're a renter or if you're an owner you gotta understand like who you're gonna cater for before you're gonna buy any investment property okay I'm gonna filter here um, 10,000 yeah 10,000 and the minimum price I'll put uh, to see if I can skip any parking spots or whatever. Still got over a thousand listings. That's pretty amazing. Lots of 10,000 units. Uh, that means that if I put, uh, what if I put nothing? Probably to get the commercial first and then the rest, which is fine. Okay. Yeah, but here we go, we go four beds. So that's already, that's commercial, but that's already not. So that's 19,000 a month. It's already my most expensive rental right now on the system is right here at uh, Pier 27, okay? I think I'm bidding this unit, by the way. All right, so, <clears throat> yeah, I've been in this unit. It's cool. Okay, so there's two types There's two types of renters here that, that we need to understand. Uh, the first type of renter is the executive renter. Uh, for example, yesterday I was looking at a fancy, fancy unit uh, somewhere in King West, and of course, the, most of the people that work at these uh, units and rent for 5000 or 8000 a month 
there's some kind of a traveling executive, you know, they're not from Toronto, they're not, they haven't settled here yet, maybe they work on a work visa, maybe they're like bouncing around, it could be a doctor that does a, f you get a contract here and then a contract there, they can afford it, but they're not going to buy because they're not from here, they have a home somewhere else, or they're a bank executive, or they're government, you know, I've, I've, I've released to all these people, I even least to people who work for other governments, they come to town, they have a contract, they need something, I've released uh, to the Blue Jays, you know, and they, they, they would pay these kind of prices um, because, you know, if the guy makes a million dollars a year or five million dollars a year or ten million dollars a year, chances are, first of all, they're not paying their own rent, okay? The company pays them a million, say, five million a year and they pay their rent. That's part of the contract. That's how it works in the upper echelons. So if you want to rent this place here, you're actually not going to pay for yourself. The company is going to pay you to live there and to run the company and they're going to pay you for this lovely condo. Okay, so that's the executive. Now, if you want to buy a unit that will uh, fit an executive, that's that's totally fine. That's possible. Um, we still, if I go back to uh, my notes here, how much they got, I'll show you. And how to buy the good condos, you need to make sure that you're buying the right condo. So you got to be in the right building. Okay, you can't, don't buy the penthouse in a trashy building. That, that's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. Buy the good penthouse in the good building, okay? Um, make sure the penthouse has plenty of outdoor space if you want to rent something for twenty thousand. You know, people go and say, "I want to pay twenty thousand dollars, and my company is going to pay twenty thousand dollars." I want to have a large outdoor space. Some of these condos, even if they're penthouses, they're not designed well. And by not designed well, you know, they have all kinds of errors. Whether it's the uh, floor plans are not efficient, or the spaces are not really like tight. Or there's no terrace. There's just no, not enough outdoor space. So it's hard to tell from here how wide this is. Looks like maybe four or five feet, maybe six feet. But I like to see like a large, large terrace, you know, when I'm paying this kind of money. Okay. Now we're not going to turn it into a neg fest and say this is bad. No. It's just, you know, you got to look and you got to be smart enough to buy the proper unit. If you're going to spend a million dollar a unit, two million dollar unit, get in touch with me and together we'll go and find the right units that actually fit because the last thing you want to do is spend two million dollars in it and then people come say well but there's there's no outdoor space here or, you know i don't like the rooms so so buy the right unit even if you're buying from plans it, you can still do it okay now when we go more into into um like the five four five six thousand dollar range you're going to find one or two things you're going to find a unit in a condo like this fashion house for example asking 4900 a month okay you're going to find this unit here. Now, that's a lower floor unit, but it's got a nice terrace. Okay, so that's why the price is high. And uh, it might be furnished. Shorter term length, spacious, 450. So, that's got a large uh, uh, patio here, 450 square feet. Luxury furnished. Okay, so it's furnished. So, now you're going to get a bit of a, of a higher rent here. It's furnished. Um, okay, and that's a unit. And it's about 900 and some square feet. And you can see it here. Now, some people like that cozy kind of vibe with the furnish. Obviously, it's on the lower floor. It's not going to get any direct sunlight, so it's kind of darkish, okay? Um, but it's okay with some people. You still get some light, and there's obviously neighbors on top, but you can like it. Uh, and for this kind of stuff, so $5 a foot, you know, you're probably averaging about $4 a foot on King West, but the larger unit with the terrace will get $5 a foot. And a crappy unit with no view and no window, because some units, even in fashion, has no terraces. I said no window, I meant no balcony or terrace. I'm uh, going to get less than $4 a foot. Okay? So you're looking at the average. And then, of course, I can show you the math. Not in this video, but I will show you the math. And if you just put a comment if you like, I can comment you back. But show the math. And I repeated it two videos ago, by the way, which will be number 175, I think. <laughs> or four. Um, I show the math of how to do the ROI, the gross ROI between the rental and the purchase price. It's very interesting. Okay, so that's that's the one. So let's look at a couple more examples, and I hope I can drive that point home and show you: is it worth to buy this condo or not? Is it worth to rent it or not? Okay, uh, here's a good example here. That's a penthouse at 88 Harbor, penthouse 105. So that's the top floor, 75th floor of this building. Now the price is obviously you know like ten thousand. It, it it's just a number in this case. Uh, so this is almost a two thousand square, square foot unit. It's brand new. It sits very very high up. It's got crazy views, and it's waiting for the right tenant. Now someone that owns a unit like this, uh, whether um, 
or whoever it is, but look at the balcony, it's really, really tight. See, that's something, you're sitting so high up, it'll be really nice to have like 30 people in the terrace. So, it's my personal opinion, yeah, I'm scratching my head here, am I right, am I wrong? Well, you know, it is my personal opinion, I like a large terrace, even though it's a high, high, high floor, but still, this terrace you can kind of come, hang out, but you can't really sit or have dinner. It'll be nice to do. Look at the West End down there. It's 40 stories below is the West End. You're 40 stories above the West End. That's unreal. Okay. But yet again, uh, with four months of uh, summer, you may be okay with this balcony. Okay. But I'd like to see something else. Uh, there's another really nice unit here for just under 10,000, 9,500, which is a penthouse, a fashion house. Uh, this unit is absolutely fantastic. And I can tell you that buying a unit like this and asking 10,000, 9,500 is not such a bad idea because look at this terrace here, okay? I'm really loving the terrace. Absolutely loving the terrace. Yeah, making sure you can see it well. I'm going to make uh, my own smaller so you can see more. There you go. Okay. So look at this. This is really, really nice. The views of the CN Tower. So that's south and that's east. So you're looking southeast here. Beautiful sun. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous place. Well appointed, as they say. That's a good Miami vibe right here. Okay. So 9,500 for this place actually makes sense to me. It's a large place. It's a beautiful place. It's a unique place. Fashion House got a lovely pool. <clears throat> it is a small building. Between the two buildings, there are only 350 units, more or less. I forget if 330, 350. Um, so that's very nice. I mean, that's, that's really cool. It's ample room for everything. Um, you even have a balcony south, and the terrace is on the east side. So there's enough room. There's enough room here to bring your 30 friends, okay? Look at this. Here's the floor plan. So it's a beautiful three-bedroom, separate, okay, with a master wash, separate lawn, laundry, three baths and a large balcony to the south and a deck, a patio, or terrace to the east. That is fantastic. To me, that is a, a very good investment possibility. Um, the price of this unit, so this unit is about 2,000 some square feet plus almost 1,000, so it's almost 3,000 square feet total. Okay, and of course, the pool is right below you. These units are actually phenomenal. Here's the pool, the Fashion House pool. This looked at an earlier picture. Okay, but that's what it is. Now, um, so if you're looking to rent this, obviously, you know, maybe you're rich, maybe you're coming to town, maybe you just want to have some fun, that's great. And that actually makes sense. Also, three parking spots, and I'm sure there's a locker too, although you can see it here. The other thing is, is when you're looking at a unit like this, you know, that's, that's, that's something else. So if I were the owner and I wanted to buy this unit, how much would this unit cost me? Probably around... If I can get it under two million, I think I'm pretty good. That's a thousand a foot, just the indoor. Uh, if I can get it for two, that's not bad. And then the rental income is about 120,000 a year. So, so in eight years, I make a million dollars gross. That's not bad return. So that's a that's a cash on cash 12.5 percent return. So that's almost three times the return on a small condo. So for the landlord. If, you know, obviously this unit will have to sit in the market for a bit, but, you know, your carrying cost of the unit is not 9,500. It's, it's probably a lot less because you probably pay for the unit's cash. You bought it cash anyways because you got that kind of money. Or even if you are uh, mortgaging it, I doubt that's what it costs you. Now, mind you, you can rent two houses for this amount, but the, uh, that's, that's a whole other animal. You can rent a house in Forest Hill for this kind of money with a, with a backyard and a pool. But maybe that's not your style. Maybe you want to be downtown. You want to bring the action. You want to have the pool. Maybe you can throw a little tub, inflatable tub on your terrace. You know, it's all good. So that is very, very nice. I really like this unit. I'll keep the link. Um, I'll punch in the link for you in the comments. You can visit this link because it's really cool. So that's what you're seeing here, okay? And then the price goes down because we're sorting by price now. And there's a townhouse for 8000 Again, you can get some of these units. You could probably, maybe it's furnished. I, 8,000 for the townhouse, that's kind of a lot, uh, but maybe it's available short term or whatever. Here's another one at King West, it's a really nice patio, uh, 8,000 a month, 
for this lovely, I've been in this unit, it's a very nice unit. It's probably gonna get leased um, today or tomorrow. Uh, just to show you, these things don't actually sit on the market for that long. If the unit makes sense, so this guy is asking uh, 8,000 a month. That's $96,000 a year, you know, like between 90 and $100,000 a year. The value of this condo is probably 1.6 to 1.8 million, and it's making back 90 to 100,000 a year. That is very, very nice. This is the original uh, fittings of the condo. Okay, uh, it's, it's furnished. Uh, some of this furniture stays, and some of it, uh, I think what you see in the picture is actually the original furnished unit. Uh, when I was in here, there's a few more items probably belonging to the tenant who is about to leave. Okay, so who's gonna rent this? If you're coming to town, you're an executive and you have one or two years to spare, or maybe you're just coming into the town now and you don't, you don't know anything and you wanna kinda just check it out and enjoy, so that's what you can do. So that's a very nice unit, another King West unit for $8,000 a month, okay? And you'd be surprised, these units do not stay on the market very long. The good ones, they just keep being rented over and over again for many, many years to come. So this unit for 8,000 a month, you know, after 10 years, the owner who probably made about a million dollars in gross rents on this unit, okay? A million dollars in gross rents on this unit. That is possible. So now you're gonna start to get the idea of, of these crazy condos, how much they're worth. Now let's see, if I stay in the same area, and let me sort, now let's go tenant-wise, what can I get for the least amount of money? Okay, so I get one bed here at the bottom, zero beds, two bath. That, maybe that's a store, I'm not even gonna look. Uh, 350 Bay, yeah, it's probably like some office or something. Uh, but here we're getting into the condos, so 1450, 1500, 1500. So these are all the buildings, but you can still find something for 1500, which is kind of cool. Okay, you can still find it for 1500. Here's a studio, 1550. So 44 Gerard, it's, the building is fine. You know, I've been in there long, many times over the years. The building is fine. It's, it's a bit older, but it's fine. It works. You know, you can make this work. Um, so that's also good if you're a student just coming to town you need a place for your own for yourself you need some quiet time you know you're not so much you just gotta come home and kind of crash do your homework do your study and then you go back out to work or to do your life thing whatever it is that's totally fine uh, that's probably a room in a house or a half of a house same here I haven't filtered down to I, I didn't filter anything so you get commercial house and condo here and you can see the condos here we go. So the condo is start, starting here at 1750. Okay. You can go on the filter. Condo. Hold it high. So now I start with the condo. So yeah, that's where they start. Um, and if we go back to King West, to we'll go back to something more reasonable. Okay, not above a store, but actual condo, like around 17, 1800, that's where we're starting. You'll find, you'll find stuff below that, but you know, there's a basement at a house, stuff like that, but these are all basements, you can tell. Uh, but some of these are actual condos, 27 bathers, that's uh, the new Minto West, King West, so there you go. Now, you know, just a studio, just a long, narrow kind of hallway you can, that you can rent for 1800 a month. There's a hallway with a kitchen and a bathroom. So, with this unit designed that great, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe not. They're probably pretty small. You're probably looking at 350 square feet, and it's 1800 a month, so that's $5 a foot. Okay, $5 a foot. Now, let me show you something here. I want to pop into condos.ca, okay, and I've done a little search. So, I basically uh, hit the for rent tab. There's for sale and for rent. I hit the for rent tab. And I, I look here, search as I move, and I can see here uh, what's available for rent. And you can see here, 1900, 43, 3200. Okay, so uh, price. Okay, so let's see what I can get under 2000 in this area, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I got some options, I got some options. And now, uh, let's say I want, what, can I get a one bedroom for 2000 Well, 
skip the basement. I got 2000 here. I got 2000 here. 1995, 1900. Okay, that's out, uh, out there. So not much in the area. You know, you got to go to Kingston Road or real far. But if you want to be downtown, King West, there's nothing much in the a one bedroom in the 2000. Now, if I say, do you have a studio? Not that many. Here's one for 1750, 1850, 1800, 1900. So you can see that the rents on King West area, you know, I'm looking at around between like Spadana and Bathurst kind of thing, which is a great place to look. Um, it's a great uh, idea of how the city works. There are 1900, 2000 uh, for a studio, and then one bedroom starts at 2000, and so on and so forth. And of course, as you get to the more fancy buildings, the fashion buildings, you know, the lifestyle building, buildings, fashion house could be, um, I, I mean, you could be Thompson, but you know, you can be downtown, entertainment district, financial district. They're going to be like over two for one bedroom. And why is that? It's because the price on these condos to buy them, they're 500 and up. So when you're buying a $500,000 condo, you're going to need to get at least $2,000 a month to even make it worth your while. So that's why the prices of rent and the prices of, of uh, to buy are always in sync. Because the landlord's not going to buy them unless they can make at least break even. And then the renters, of course, want the cheapest price possible. So that's kind of the game in the rental, in the rental, uh, in the rental space. So I hope that makes sense to you. Um, a quick review and then we're done for today. So how much they got. If you want to see what they got, you can go to the analytics um, here on condos.ca and they can show you. Here they got $3.60 a foot. That's average. Average of all average. And that's based on all Toronto. All Toronto. three sixty. But some areas, like I showed you, will be 5 bucks a foot and some will be less. So that's how much they got. So as an owner or as a renter, you can look at how much they got and then see if the price they're asking you is more or less the average or not. Now, if it's below average, what's wrong with it? And if it's above average, does it offer more than the average unit? That's how I want to do it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Downtown. Downtown. So we're going to load downtown. No, that still gives me... Oh, downtown. Okay. Here we go. So now downtown is more expensive. It's almost four dollars a foot. So it's almost it's almost thirty-five cents a foot, about 10, 10 15 percent more than the average. Okay, let's try Yorkville. Ah, Yorkville, the average is four hundred nineteen, four dollars and twenty cents a foot. So even more higher. Okay, so it's about 20% higher than the average. Let's try uh, King West. So clear the filters. Okay, and you can copy for me. So you can start doing this by yourself. You don't have to log in. I think I'm, am I logged in here? No, I'm not. 411, so King West and Yorkville are almost the same price. But basically, it's down to 2% difference. Eight cents over $4, that's 2%. So, now if you're an investor, should you buy King West or should you buy Yorkville? You see, if the rent is the same, your ROI will be higher in King West. And as a matter of fact, I was looking at units of Yorkville uh, last week, and we look at 555 uh, Yorkville there, at the old hotel turned condos, and there you can get a small unit, which used to be a hotel room, or 350 square feet or 300 square feet, and it'll cost you uh, $530,000. The same price, King West will get you a full one bedroom, 530 square feet, $1,000 a foot. So, and the rents will be more or less the same on the King West unit and on the Yorkville unit. So, the ROI on the King West unit is much, much higher than the ROI on the Yorkville if you're paying the same amount, getting the same rent, uh, but the unit is much smaller in Yorkville. I mean, the, the technical ROI is probably the same because I'm spending the same money, I'm getting the same money, but eventually I have more space to work with, so eventually the potentiality of coming up could be higher. Okay? I'll get that in another video, but for now you can see that um, you can get more space at King West for the same amount of price, and you can also rent in King West, in King West uh, a larger space for the, same price, for the same price as you would rent a much smaller space in Yorkville. 
So there's, there's a relationship here, okay? So that's what they got, what they got, okay? Now, how to get the tenants? How to get the tenants? So the first thing you can do is you can go on MLS and then your listing will, will uh, circulate to all these sites, including yossi.searchrealty.co, torontocondensforsale.com, and all our sites, okay? It's called syndication. These go to over 5,000 websites where you can find them, you know, Point to homes, realtor.ca, MLS, all these sites are drawing on the same database. The difference here, of course, is all of our pocket listings, exclusive listings, some of the assignments, you can get them here too. That's why I keep going to this interface. I really like it. None is perfect, but this one's very good. Okay, uh, that's the thing. Now, it runs the number, so 1K is not 1,000. It just starts with 1. That's how they program it. What can I do? Okay, but there's, there's really nothing under 2,000, like barely 1,800, you get a closet, literally a closet. Okay, but that's what it is. Um, if you are a renter and you're looking to get a better price on your, on your rent, uh, number one, be nice. Number two, be professional. And number three, ask for it. That's what you're gonna do. It's just like be a decent person, show that you can do it, show you're gonna be a good tenant. You know, me as a landlord, as a property manager, I'd much rather give you a $100 discount $200 discount every month, which is, you know, $1,200 or $2,400 a year. Um, if you're a good tenant, you're going to pay on time, not cause me any, any headaches. If you're, if you're an annoying tenant, I'm going to give you a full price because you're going to pay for all the extra time you're going to consume from me. That's, that's what happens, okay? And how to get the tenant? You can advertise the tenant, but obviously you have to do the checks. You got to do your checks and balances. You got to do the credit check, the background check, the history check, call the references, see if you know them. It's very important because you're going to let someone into a unit which costs you $500,000 or $2 million, you want to make sure it's the right person. So make sure it's the right person. Okay, uh, how, to, how to buy the good condos? <laughs> you really need the, someone good. You need to need Yossi Kaplan on your side, someone who knows every building inside out. They've been there, done it, rented, was a renter, was a landlord, was a property manager, is a property manager, is a landlord, is a real estate agent, is a mortgage broker. They basically just tell you how it is give you the information how it is and from there you can make the right decision okay then Yossi can help you how to price your unit for rent how to price your unit for sale what kind of tenants you want how to check them I mean it's not that difficult but it does take 20 years of experience to do it you know you go to a doctor the doctor says well it's not that hard but that's what they do so like my dad said every 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 problem has a professional to solve your problem get the right professional and you'll do a lot a lot better Hopefully you call me first, ask me questions. A lot of people call me every day. We saw your YouTube, you know, really like what you say. Now, I, sometimes they become clients. Sometimes we just discuss information. I always give information for free. I don't mind it. I'll never tell you, you know, like you got to sign something. No. I'm going to give you the information for free, just like I give you here. I believe in sharing information. And the more I empower you, the better my business is. Okay, the better we all become. We need to become... This is, this is about creating a good community of investors and people that support them. The tenants are supporting the investors because Toronto does not have enough rental buildings. As a matter of fact, they only just started building them after 40 years. They've built no rental buildings. That's why condos are so successful. If we're not going to build the condos, they're not going to allow the investors to buy them. There's no rental units and people cannot come to the city. The city cannot grow and develop. So everything is together. You know, We build the condos. The investors buy the condo. You come to the VIP with me. You know. Like I told you a million times, buy Tridel the well because it's close to Shopify. Buy Galleria Mall because it's like the new place to be. Buy Crosstown if you're on the budget. But get in there and do it because these are your options now and the rents being paid in Toronto are really, really good. Um, <clears throat> will the price of condos get higher? Yes, they will. It's just we live in an inflationary economy. Will, will rent prices go up? Yes, they will. We live in an inflationary economy. Um, you know, things like uh, some things will change, but overall the economy is built on inflation. We have to increase the prices all the time, so that's why we invest in condos. If if this didn't work, we would be, I'd be talking about something else here. But this is what we're here for. We're here because we're investors. We're here to have fun. We are to make money. We have to have a great life. We are we're here to learn. And if you're a renter, learn all you can. <clears throat> While you're renting, teach yourself, educate yourself, and make sure you become a buyer one day. That's it.